Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdiverse- It's not Nerdiversal anymore, it's Illumilani. Hello everybody, welcome to an Illumilani video. The next video I can say another Illumilani video because this is technically my first video where I'm saying Illumilani. That's crazy, that's crazy. So as you might have known by the last video that I posted, I was having capture card issues with the Switch because I had no idea how to use it. And so I missed out on a Halloween video. So listen, even though we're two weeks out from Halloween, I got it. One of my good friends and also a viewer of this channel, you know who you are, lent me one of his capture cards cards and I'm so fucking grateful because I'm finally gonna get this video and 17 fucking hours of production is not gonna go to waste. Let's get started. I'm so excited to show you guys. I am gonna time travel back to Halloween so that we can get the full experience. Also, sorry about this camera quality by the way. It is just the streaming camera and it's also kind of dark here. You know, daylight savings times happened. I just got off at 4 30 so it's a struggle out here. Look at Octavian in his little suit. Ah! He's so cute. Okay, continue. Oh, it's Halloween. There's Jack! Okay, I gotta stop being a little fangirl right now and go change into my Halloween costume. Do I need candy for this? I don't remember. I believe the last time I did this was in 2020. Oh, yeah, look at my house. I redecorated it too. Uh, it's got a new wall. I've got all my villager photos right here. All the ones I care about except Lopez and Coco. They haven't given me their pictures yet. And I'm very sad about that because me and Lopez are really good friends. Motherfucker hasn't given me his picture. I'll take you into my bedroom. So I need to change my clothes and get on my costume. But I did redecorate this too. Look at it. I have a little balcony over here. As soon as I get the glow stickers i'm planning on putting a window tile on this so that it looks like i have a window out to the rainy gardens but i haven't gotten the recipe for that yet so this is cute but i was actually planning on going as a deadly schoolgirl. i just thought the costume was really cute there it is what do you guys think pink or black you guys can't actually choose yandere girl yandere weeb yandere girl yandere weeb okay mm, is this the look i want yeah and then i'm gonna put on some bloody face paint okay Yep, that is perfect. We are now ready to go. Let's get out of here. And then real quick before we let's go out, uh, you guys have already seen my ramen restaurant from another video, but I did update the attic. And we're also gonna be visiting my boyfriend's house because it got a lot creepier. Nice, nice. Look at, I got my little band there. I got a terrace. Yeah, vibes. All right, let's go. So I upgraded the front of my house a lot to kind of have like a lot darker stones and stuff. And then this pathing took me so fucking long. All of this brick pathing was probably like at least four hours of my time. And so my dream address is actually set not on Halloween. It's set on a very, very cloudy day. If you guys want to visit that, I'm going to put my dream address right here. And then also in the description below if you guys want to visit. And then, so I, <laughs> I forgot to put these up, uh, but these are some of my boyfriend's things that I left him so that I could, when I play on his account, I can just put it in his house. But let's go through my boyfriend's house real quick. So, little backstory behind his house. My boyfriend played Cult of the Lamb. Loved that game. It was a very cute game. I watched him play it. It was very nice. And so, when I was coming up with ideas for what to make his house, originally it was gonna be a dark magic academy but then he was like why don't you make it into a cult house um so that's what i did so we got our little cult guy over here is a wallopoid he just plays the piano that's his little cult job and then here's like where the heads of the cult eat dinner and then here's uh my boyfriend's throne because obviously he's uh head of the cult like the main what's that guy's name of scientology babe what's the guy's name from scientology i don't remember that guy's name but he's basically like that but for the lloyds you know what i mean okay so let's go to the kitchen where there's like absolutely nothing suspicious at all <laughs> i lied they're cannibals so here's this little, here's the bones, and then I, I don't know why there's fish. I don't know. I guess they're also pescatarians. I actually really wanted a cherry pie right here so that it would look like blood, but I don't have it in my Happy Home Academy. I don't. I'm so sad that I don't have a cherry pie that looks like blood. And this is also going to come up again because I redecorated my characters' houses, and there is a story behind them that I will explain later. Anyways, let's leave the cannibal kitchen. So the bathroom is actually like genuinely kind of innocuous. I don't know. They're kind of bathing together. This is their bathroom where they all just like do their little cult bathing. No, I so I watched Liz the last. I freaking love her content. Uh, bless her heart if she ever sees this. That would be so lovely. Why am I blanking on their name right now? They're just gonna get called Lloyds for the rest of this video until I realize while I'm editing what they're called and I'll put it down below me. But she basically put the Lloyds on the wall next to the bath and it looks like they're in the bathtub. It looks like they're in the bathtub. Look at And this one's doing laundry over here. I don't know what this one's doing. He's just looking and being weird. And then this is where I put like the art that like ended up being fake because i've been trying to get all of my art for the museum it's the only part of my museum that's like really lagging and so when you do it on harv's island you got to just keep buying it until you get a real art and you get real art twice a week so i've just been grinding for that before we visit the back room i'm gonna visit the upstairs room and i'm gonna visit the downstairs room 
See so here's obviously my little master bedroom where the cult master sleeps. The books are only in here because the cult people are not allowed to read books. They're not allowed to know things and they're not allowed to know when they're being manipulated. Obviously. Also, here's my axe for potential murdering. Also, I had to do so much Happy Home Academy grinding and it made me feel so bad because I actually genuinely really like to do Happy Home Academy. And it makes me so sad to just unbox stuff in a house and then leave. But I had to do that for my boyfriend's account so he could get all the sound design in here and all the furniture items. It was so sad. But I, I took one for the team. Okay, let's visit the downstairs. And here's the downstairs. Here's where I keep all of my victims and everybody. Well, this is where he keeps all of his victims. I'm not a part of this. I'm just the witch of the island. This is where he keeps all of his victims to be in prison or whatever. Like if you spoke out against the cult, this is where they keep you. I'm really sorry, actually, if this is insensitive to people who have been in a cult. It is based off of Cult of the Lamb and it is made for the creepy island specifically. So I do apologize. But yeah, so here's the bones. Here's the bones. I don't know. We just left them in front of this guy so we could like be like, like, hey, uh, stop acting out of line or something. And here is the very deadly chair. Um, it pounds on your back so hard it kills you. Murderous. And then here's the bed where we do like the little operations because no cult is complete without operating on its subjects, you know? I'm actually really proud of that room. As soon as I got the dungeon wall, I was so excited. I was like, I could do so much with this. Okay, so now we're gonna visit the back room. Not to be mistaken for back rooms. Ah, uh, yes, my most detailed room. And for this, I will not be explaining. However, what I will say, in the storyline that I have created for my island, which I will be very honest about, um, I'm not about, like, secretive storytelling. I was very excited to make all this, and it's a very basic story. I feel like I'd be such a piece of shit if I were to make you guys try to figure out this very, very basic story I have on my island. And I mostly made it for shits and giggles, so I'm gonna explain it as I go. But this house and this cult does play a part in the storyline of this island, and I'll, like, talk about it later, as soon as we visit, like the house. There is a murderer on this island and I can't wait to show you guys who the murderer is. Okay, and then let's go up here because I did edit some stuff up here. This is my new and improved cemetery. I just thought I would make it a little more organized. Um, and then because like there was flowers everywhere and it was kind of just like dirt and grass and like super unorganized and flowers were sprouting everywhere. It was really ugly. So I edited this. Cool and fun. Oh, it's a foggy day today. This is so perfect for Halloween. And then this is my new and improved star deck. This is inspired from something that I saw online. I can't remember it right now, but I will look up a picture and then I'll post it in the video right now. But yeah, I just wanted a star deck because mine was like super ugly. And so I was like, I can make this pretty and like add more trees and make it like so... This isn't cottage core. I don't know what this is. Very core. I don't know. Anyways, so that's my star deck. This diving pad has not changed at all. It's it, like quite literally the exact same. This is my pumpkin patch, looking real fine on the lovely night of Halloween. Very Halloween-like. And then my spirit of Halloween, I've kept up all year. I just, I didn't have the heart to get rid of it, man. I love my spirit Halloween. I love my costumes and stuff. And so then you can see, like, all the pathing that I've changed over here. And I kind of made, like, everything black and, like, a little bit dirty so that I could, like, make it a little spookier. But the buildings do kind of kill it. I don't know. Like, they're just so, like, colorful, you know? Which is why I edited the hell out of my villagers' houses, or at least the outside of most of them the only one i changed was the killers and so you'll see that when i visit the killers and then here is my grove i worked really hard on that water pattern on the ground right there but it still looks ass but yeah here's my vegetables got my little tractor here for vegetable taking and then of course over here i have my murder spot uh this is the place where the killer did not clean up their mess this is what's gonna get them caught totally this was their mistake they got a little too bold and flew a little too close to the sun and then I put this down here. This is just super cool. I love the mossy caves and I love like all the moss recipes. They're just so cool. And then of course I edited all my lanterns to put this spooky little ghoul here. I like to think these are the cameras for the cult. These are these little things are like, I don't know, the cult minions that are spying on everybody. Storage sheds were the best thing to happen to this fucking game in that update. Oh my god. I love being able to go anywhere across the island and being able to access my inventory and not have to go all the way to my house, which is all the way at the back of the island. Ramen shop's the same, but the coffee shop is different. I found out there was boba in this game and you could win it at Red's little things during 4th of July. And so I just bought a bunch of boba and now I have a boba shop. It's fantastic. And then real quick over here, I did edit my uh, bar. Well, it used to just be a get together place, but now it's a bar. And here's my little bartender over here. I think this is Bendoid or something like that. And everybody's got their little lovely, totally non-alcoholic drinks. 
and then here's your dance floor to get jiggy with it i did edit my little shop up here now it's like dirt because it's like a little think of it like a like a witch's traveling truck type thing kind of like the girl in stardew valley that just comes every saturday to give you wares and stuff kind of like this except it's not really traveling she just kind of set up here and nobody's stopping her and this right here she's the store runner petaloid love her you go running your scam business petaloid and then i did put a little thing here so this is like the witch's forest um but there's only one tree here because i really like for stuff to spawn up here this is like the majority of where like my fossils spawn or where i want them to spawn usually they spawn in the most inconvenient places but at least this place is still here for peace of mind this pergola was so nice with the orange flowers and the black wood it was so cool so you guys have seen my hotel i'm pretty sure that was also in the last video but i did put my laundromat up here just to like uh make it look nicer i basically just raised everything on this floor including the pool which should be closed right now it's off season i should have closed that whoopsie wait but look i'm super proud of this though look at it. it's like a floaty then again here's my little fairgrounds i got going up here and then this this was i'm super proud of this i saw this design on reddit where somebody had hung bats from it from the same creator by the way i'll leave the username down below i'm gonna see if i could find the creator code but it was really cool so you just make this black and then you custom design some banners on it and you could put skulls that are fucking hanging from this dude this is so cool it's got to be one of my favorite parts of the custom design thing circus didn't change much i honestly didn't have enough energy to change the whole circus oh Uh-oh. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, I, sh I do need to go get my candy. They're gonna ask for it. Thank you. Okay, wait. L let me go. No, no. Stop. Ch no. Stop, Fuchsia. Stop, Fuchsia. I don't have candy on me. Give me a second. <laughs> my first mistake was going by the plaza without candy. I can't believe I would do such a thing. Okay, now we got candy. Now we're gonna be safe. Now none of my villagers are gonna shoot me in the head for not having candy. Okay, here's my little playground spot. This is the picnic area. Now I have some Lloyds enjoying a little picnic over here and everything's black, of course. Why wouldn't it be? Oh, hi, Punchy. She's gonna play a dirty trick on me. Candy for you. Yes, I do have candy. I just got it. Wow. Wow. I don't need another Halloween. Th I don't need another table setting, but thank you, Punchy. Yeah, so I accidentally turned all of my villagers into stoners and gay right activists. This is my nursery over here. I just had so many f uh, hybrid flowers that I didn't know what to do with and they were lining my beach. If you go to my dream address, there's still a couple on the beach, but I've tried to mostly get rid of them in this right here. So I have all my blue flowers, I have my black flowers, my orange flowers, and then my pink flowers. I had so many. I think it's because I didn't use them across the island like I did the orange ones, but I have so many pink flowers. So if any of of my friends need them or if you're willing to give me your dream address and i can send you some i don't know how that works i don't think you can send flowers actually but i have a lot of pink flowers and then over here this is also in the dream address too that's why i left the shovel here you dig up this little spot and you dig up a creepy skeleton yes sir this is a murder victim buried in the nursery and no the nursery owners had nothing to do with this it was all the murderer uh just wanting to hide something somewhere and they were like might as well make it pretty or something i don't know i don't know i don't know the m killer's lore and then here's where i keep some of my extra gold flowers i actually have so many they're not that hard to grow actually there are harder flowers to grow in this game than the gold flower because once you have black flowers i feel like they just keep on spawning you shy of candy now do you want to talk yes <laughs> i'll take a spooky garland oh that would have been nice to have for the video halloween for life nut buddy all right love you fuchsia my girl fuchsia here's my plaza over here i added this gazebo i just love the way this gazebo looks i think it's so cool and i finally found a use for it at the plaza and then i have another banner thing over here this banner is a little bit different though it's just torn up i think it's also by the same people that did the skulls they have so many useful halloween designs i think even my brick was from them so i will definitely link their dream address lopez you better give me your picture in return 
Yeah, Lopez actually was the one that started the trend gay rights. Um, and then everybody followed him, so I'd like to think that he liberalized everybody on the island. This is Ketchup and Fuchsia's house right here. I, they are next to each other because they are girlfriends. Listen, they had so many cute interactions and they were so nice to each other. And I swear to God, I don't, I don't know if I have the pictures anymore, but they were being so flirty with each other one time. So now they're girlfriends. If you go inside their house, uh, but they have pictures of each other on the wall from when I edited their houses. And I'm like super excited about that. Another idea from liz the last i think because that's what she did with some of her villagers but yeah love them coco's house i'm actually super proud of coco's house i tried to keep it as like off the grid as possible and so she doesn't really have i don't think she has any technology in her house but it's so cute and there she is <gasps> she's so cute come here talk to me <gasps> oh they give you candy if you go to your their house Thank you, I will have a fun Halloween night. I don't know, she was living underground and I felt so bad for her because she didn't have like a table or like a bed or a couch or anything. So I just, I don't know, I gave her a little clay stove where she could cook and then I kept her stone table, but I gave her cushions instead of rock chairs. So I bet it's super hot in here. Also, before I leave, Coco is a murder victim. She is one of the ghosts of the island, but she just chills here and doesn't like say anything. I don't know, she has amnesia or something. That's why she doesn't like remember who murdered her, but she's just chilling. I mean, doesn't that face just give murder? murder victim to you anyways hey i just gave you some candy punchy whatever i'll give you another you're my favorite overly aware cat on this island oh okay i like a spooky rug i'll take a spooky rug so this is vivian's house i didn't edit hers too much but she's part of the lore the biggest lore okay so everybody's kind of involved in like the island murders but her Look at her, my little wizard and detective. I guess she doesn't really have anything in here that gives detective. But, um, yeah, no, I don't know. She's in the big city and, uh, she's, like, doing all this research. I probably should have put more papers around her house now that I think about it. Also, I love this city wall right here. It's absolutely my favorite wallpaper and Sahara will not give it to me. She doesn't want me to be happy. I've been playing this game for two years and I still haven't gotten that wallpaper. So Vivian's actually the closest to catching on to who the murderer is. She's just smart like that, I feel like. But she needs to be careful because if she gets too close there may be consequences all right bye vivian all right can i ask have any of you guessed who the killer is yet can you take a guess can you take a wild 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 guess also here's my concert spot now i have a singing lloyd over here just doing her little hums love her anyways if you haven't figured out who the murderer is it's poppy so yeah i can't get into her house right now oh oh goodness she's pretending that she's nice that trick that she's talking about right there that's murder. Anyways, doesn't Poppy just give the most murderous vibes to you? Isn't that the kind of person that you look at and you're like, there's thoughts behind those eyes that are incomprehensible and I don't want to know them. Yeah, I can't get into her house right now because she's out. So I'll put a video right here. She even has her little speaking pie over there and all her blood stains. It doesn't let you put blood stains on the floor. I was actually really upset about that. So yeah, I believe that was my full island tour. Oh, no, Punchy, stop it. Stop it. I've already given you so much candy. Leave me alone. So yeah, that was the full island tour. And that's like all the lore that's going on right now. You know, we got the girlfriends. They haven't died by Poppy's hands because they have the power of love. And also Poppy's not homophobic. Okay, the gay agenda is spreading across my island. So right now the only murder victim is Coco. And then like whoever those people were that were over there that's okay they're not important so i actually do kind of want to show you guys a happy home design that i did that was really creepy for one of my old villagers that i just happened to find on there uh so i think that'll be a bonus if you guys want to watch that at the end of the video but for now let's talk to jack let's see what he's got up what's up bro oh i hate i hate his voice <laughs> it is so perfect for halloween though his deep voice is so perfect for halloween i do fit the bill yes i fit the bill he reminds me of king from owl house like just like this very like cute little guy that's just like i will rule you yes i have so much yes i do nice i love how they all eat them like fruits jack's face is that his little helmet i kind of do want to wear that right now actually no whoever whoever just saw me i'm not okay it's bill fine Bill, by the way, just got on the gay rights wave. He is actually kind of a flirt on the island. He just be flirting with anybody and everybody. And at first it was only girls, but Lopez showed him the way. Go, Bill. All right, before we go, let me put on my little helmet. Got my pumpkin hat on and it's time to fucking party. Let's go to my happy home academy. One thing real quick I did forget to mention, Poppy actually works for the cult. That's why like she's like a murderer and like she's just like getting away with it because the cult has a lot of power. I did forget to mention that, but the cult does have a part in the murder sprees on the island. I don't know, it's like a 
sacrifice or something maybe poppy is like the cult's little minion she's like the tom cruise of this island just doing the little bidding but like being the public face or whatever i am literally not working hard at all nico but i do appreciate your enthusiasm i love how this job really just says workers rights we don't even have a union they're just good they're good to me wait this is the exact opposite of where I needed to go. So Tabby was actually one of the first characters on my island, and I loved her so much. She just cemented a place in my heart. I don't know what it is about preppy villagers, but I just really love them a lot. And so when I saw her pop up on Happy Home Academy, I was like, dude, I have to make her a house. I just hope she's not uninteresting. And then I asked her what she wanted for her house, and she hit me with the hardest fucking design anybody could have ever asked for. She asked for a scary old hospital. I was like, girl, you are now officially one of my favorites historically. Look, like, she's even wearing her little nurse's outfit i probably should have come in costume but i totally forgot here it is <laughs> tabby you gruesome morbid bitch i love you half of this stuff already came in with like the preset design too i didn't have to add in a whole lot of this except for like the blood designs you know because like obviously it doesn't like give you all your original creative designs but yeah look we got the skeleton we got whatever this moss has going on it's giving some silent hill vibes she's scared of the scary skeleton don't know why she asked for it oh oh never mind she's actually just admiring it tabby while guests are here come on girl get it together we can't be a weirdo on main but yeah you even got the like creeks and stuff it's like real spooky real scary i don't know i was just so happy that she asked me to make this that i thought i'd had to show you guys but anyways yeah so that was my island tour my little halloween get together with you guys and also the bonus tabby's happy home academy house i don't know so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys aren't super mad at me that it was super late i'm so glad i got to borrow this capture card so that i could actually make this video and my work didn't go to waste it is very exciting i do plan on making more animal crossing content in the future i really love animal crossing it's very fun i'm very inspired by content like liz the last i don't know it's just like very like fun and like chill along with my other videos of course because i do still want to kind of keep a creepy vibe on this channel a little bit but i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys want more and we'll We'll come back for more there will be another alice madness returns video posted soon and thank you guys for watching see you guys later bye